learning objectives after studying this chapter students will be able to identify and recognize the need for theory base of accounting describe the meaning of accounting assumptions and accounting principles explain the nature of GAAP that is generally accepted accounting principles explain the accounting standard and IFRS international financial reporting standards along with their objectives describe the basis of accounting distinguish between cash basis of accounting and actual basis of accounting Identify the need of theory-based accounting. Accounting meaning. Accounting is concerned with recording, classifying and summarizing of financial transactions and events and interpreting the results thereof. Accounting information, relevance, reliability and comparability. Accounting aims at providing information about financial performance of a firm to several interested users such as owners, managers, employees, investors, creditors, suppliers and tax authorities. All these users look forward to accounting for appropriate, relevant and useful information. The accounting information is useful to its external and internal users if it is reliable and comparable. Comparability of information Accounting information is comparable when accounting standards and policies are applied consistently from one period to another. The concept of consistency means that accounting methods once adopted must be applied consistently in future. Also same methods and techniques must be used for similar situations. Consistency concept is important because of the need for comparability that is, it enables investors and other users of financial statements to easily and correctly compare the financial statements of a company. The comparability of information allows to make inter-firm comparisons that is to see how a firm performed as compared to other firms as well as inter-period comparisons that is how the firm has performed as compared to the previous year. This is why the need for developing a proper theory based accounting arises. Principal Rules, Concepts and Guidelines the theory base of accounting includes concepts, principles, rules and guidelines developed over a period of time. Generally accepted accounting principles Accounting principles, meaning and purpose Accounting principles are the rules and guidelines that companies must follow when reporting financial data. Accounting principles have been developed to maintain uniformity and consistency in accounting records. The term principle has been defined by AICPA as a general law or rule adopted or professed as a guide to action, a settled ground or basis of conduct or practice. Generally accepted accounting principles GAAP refers to the rules or guidelines adopted for recording and reporting of business transactions in order to bring uniformity in the preparation and the presentation of financial statements. Example One of the important rule is to record all transactions on the basis of historical cost which is verifiable from the documents such as cash receipt for the money paid. This brings an objectivity in the process of recording and makes the accounting statements more acceptable to various users. Accounting principles are not static in nature. These are constantly influenced by changes in the legal, social and economic environment as well as the needs of the users. 
It is observed that the various terms such as principles, postulates, conventions, modifying principles, assumptions, etc. have been used interchangeably and are referred to as basic accounting concepts. State the meaning and purpose of the basic accounting concepts. Basic accounting concepts. Accounting concepts are the fundamental ideas, rules or basic assumptions that should be followed in the preparation of all accounts and financial statements. Business entity concepts. The business and its owners are two separate entities. Money measurement concept. All transactions of the business are recorded in terms of money. It provides a common unit of measurement. Going concern concept. This assumes that the business will continue in operational existence for the foreseeable future. Accounting period concept. An accounting period is the span of time covered by a set of financial statements. This period defines the time range over which business transactions are accumulated into financial statements and is needed by investors so that they can compare the results of successive time periods. Cost Concept As per this concept, all the assets of a firm are required to be recorded at their purchase price instead of their current value. Dual Aspect Concept This is the basic principle of accounting. It states that every transaction will have dual effects, that is every debit has its corresponding credit and vice versa. Therefore, at least two accounts will be involved in recording a transaction. Revenue Recognition or Realization Concept it means that the revenue of a business transaction should be included in the accounting records only when it is realized. Matching Concepts As per this concept, revenues are recognized when they are earned, but not when cash is received. And expenses are recognized when they are incurred, but not when cash is paid. Full Disclosure Concept this means that financial statements should be prepared to reflect a true and fair view of the financial position and performance of the enterprise. Consistency concept. It states that the accounting principles and practices followed by a firm should be consistent over a period of time. This allows both inter-firm and inter-period comparisons. Conservatism Concept, prudence, is a policy of anticipating possible future losses, but describe the systems of accounting. Two systems of accounting. There are two systems of recording transactions in the book of accounts. These are single entry system and double entry system. Single entry system, incomplete and unreliable. This system of accounting refers to the system in which only one-sided entry is required to record financial transactions. This system is not complete system of maintaining records of financial transactions as it does not record the twofold effect of each transaction. Under single entry system, only personal accounts and cash book are maintained as no detailed record is maintained in respect of all transactions full information is not available from the books of account therefore this system is not completely reliable double entry system twofold effect double entry system is the scientific method of keeping financial records due to twofold effect the system possesses completeness accuracy as well as matches with the generally accepted accounting principles that is GAAP. The double entry system follows the dual aspect principle. This states that every transaction has two effects that is receiving a benefit and giving a benefit. 
The basic principle followed in this system is that every debit must have a corresponding credit. Double entry system, complete and reliable. This system is a complete system as both the aspects of a transaction are recorded. Hence, the system is accurate and reliable. The Accounting Standards Issued by Institute of Chartered Accountants of India Generally Accepted Accounting Principles, that is GAAP The Generally Accepted Accounting Principles have been accepted by accounting professionals to achieve uniformity and comparability in the financial statements. However, these principles provide a variety of alternative treatments for the same item. This demands for bringing in uniformity and consistency in the reporting of accounting information. Accounting standards meaning These are written statements of uniform accounting rules, practices and guidelines. The main objective of these standards is to bring about uniformity in financial reporting and to ensure consistency in the data published by enterprises. However, the accounting standards cannot override the provision of applicable laws, customs, usages and business environment in the country. Introduction of Accounting Standards Board ASB. To deal with the issue of inconsistency and incomparability, the Accounting Standards Board ASB, was established in 1977 April for developing accounting standards. ASB was constituted by the Institute of Chartered Accountants of India, that is ICAI. Role of ASB The main function of ASB is to formulate accounting standards. ASB develops standards after wide discussion with the government, public sector undertakings and other organizations. ASB gives due consideration to the international accounting standards. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned in this module. The accounting process and procedures are based on some theoretical concepts which are classified into different categories such as business entity concepts, money measurement concepts, accounting period concepts, etc. Accounting principles, concepts and conventions are known as generally accepted accounting principles that is GAAP. Accounting Standards Board ASB was established in April 1977 for developing accounting standards. ASB was constituted by the Institute of Chartered Accountants of India, ICAI. The system of accounting in which only one-sided entry is required to record financial transactions is single entry system. Double entry system is the scientific method of keeping financial records. Accounting principles have been developed to maintain uniformity and consistency in accounting records. Accounting involves recording, classifying and summarizing of financial transactions effectively.